He's not like this. This is what people don't realize. The people that run everything are Luciferians. You, you, you didn't really hear this stuff in the 80s, okay? We're old, I'm old. I'm almost 50. And in the 80s, we didn't really hear this kind of stuff. Like, I just saw a show where CERN, where the scientists were talking on camera. It's like, wow, the arrogance. Like, they're shifting us, and they just have the gall. The gall. I mean, like, in the 80s, they couldn't have done that. People would have walked them and cracked them right in their jaw. And it's almost like, like the same thing with the NSA. Like they're like looking inside your house, watching your little kids naked in their little, you know, in their little underwear, and then watching them naked. And it's like if someone can just get a hold of this footage and release it to the public, people will know, but they don't really believe 100 percent. Now if they got a hold of this footage and leaked it to the public, and the public can say, well, "Oh my, they're in our, they're in my house watching." I mean, I heard about it, but now I'm seeing it. That will cause a riffle effect like CERN's doing to us, a riffle effect where you would have people pissed off, it would grow, it would grow, it would be forced to be covered on the main news, and it would change things for the better. Also, um, and I'm sure, you know, there'd be some arrests because what they're doing is completely illegal. And also the same thing with the top people. I mean, I'm not saying Obama or Hillary. I'm not saying they're even criminals. I don't know. People are saying they're criminals. I, I don't have any idea if they're criminals. I, they, I've never seen them do anything against the law. I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying if they are, if they are, which I don't know. But if they were, all you have to do is arrest one of them. This Pizzagate thing where, you know, where there are like all this, you know, child rape and murder and pornography and snuff films and, in Seville and all you know it goes on and on and on it's like all you have to do is arrest one of them arrest one famous face wake the public up it would bring down the house you would you would start having a, a chain reaction you just gotta start it up you would have a chain reaction same thing like this whole flood thing in Texas and then they admit they have weather control they control the weather and people don't, they, people are like, this GMO, the satanic symbols is like fluoride in the water is working. People are like, brain dead. Like, uh, hello, they control the weather. Uh, millions of people die every year from disasters, uh, tornadoes. and I mean, man, do the math. Two plus two is four. 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 You know, Alex Jones, I sit there and talk. I, I don't want him to go to his channel. I watched him for four years. I'll go to his channel right now and I'll see the same thing just like regurgitated. I, I, don't, I don't ever see him screaming for arrest. Arrest. Alex Jones has such a big audience. Huge audience. If he wanted to make arrest, Alex Jones would get arrested. And I guarantee you. He has enough pull now. He has enough clout with the public to, to, to get big names arrested, investigated. Yeah, I'm not saying no one's guilty. Again, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if they are. I'm just sick of hearing it. If they are, then start it up. Arrest one famous face. I mean, I come from the 80s. That's probably why I think this way. In the 80s, people just got arrested. I, I mean, if I go across the street and kick someone's ass, if I just kick their window in and kill them, I'll be in prison. But they can do it. But they can do it, but we can't do it. I wouldn't do it. I'm a Christian. I wouldn't do it anyways. But the point I'm making is that the law should be there for everybody. Because when you start letting them break the law, pretty soon the cameras are in our house like they are. And pretty soon you got innocent people going to prison like we do. And the guilty people get away with murdering little kids. The camera shouldn't be in our homes. The camera should be inside the government offices. They're, they're, they're supposed to be working for us. They, they, we hired them and they took our money and they, and they made all this technology stuff. And, they're, and now they're going to kill us with it. It's like, wow, oh my God, it's like brain dead. Wake up, America. Wake up. The camera should be inside the government offices. As a matter of fact, there's so much corruption. We should have a five-year period where the cameras actually go inside their cars and inside their homes. And we should be watching them, not them watching us. We need a, a, a private investigation. We need about two, 300 people, school bus drivers, Kmart uh, clerks, just your average regular flip your burger McDonald's Burger King to go inside 
and do a, a, an investigation, a neutral investigation, and see what's really going on inside the government at the top. That's what we need. But you know what? We're almost a little bit too late. It's almost game over.